This is the Shmo with the pro with the number 11th ranked light heavyweight in the world. Johnny Walker in the flesh in the Big Apple UFC 244. How we doing? I'm good. I'm great. Very happy. This is amazing place. First time in New York. I'm so excited to beat somebody. Very important question. The Schmo knows you just got your hair cut. It was on Embedded. How are the barbers here versus the West Coast or even in Russia where you're doing your fight camp? Uh, I mean, I met the Russian barbershop here, so I make a very nice uh, cut my hair in this barbershop. Everybody that is Russia, so it looks some familiar for the last two months when I, when I have my company train in Russia. It's a beautiful schmohawk, might I say. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well done. Now you got your toughest task to date. Corey Anderson, ranked number seven. A lot of people assume the winner of that fight fights Johnny Bones Jones. He's going to want to wrestle you. We know you've been working on your wrestling. How many times do you expect to stuff some of his takedowns come Saturday evening? He cannot take me down. I'm ready. I will take him down. Why not? First round, you're going to go for the shoot and take him down? Man, MMA. I fight MMA. I don't fight Muay Thai, box, where I say. I'm MMA fighter. I take him down, I have Jiu Jitsu, where I say everything. Let's play whatever you want, my friend. After you got the unanimous decision, unanimous decision. for the contender series, you get three straight first round knockouts for you. A lot of people expect the excitement though, but you are preparing to go three rounds in the distance, but in your perfect world, you're expecting a knockout in the first round? I don't expect nothing. I, not, I don't make plan for fights because if you if your plan fail, you maybe you get frustrated. So I just fight, man, natural, with my heart, with my technique, everything that I have. I just fight. What happen? what have to happen. It's right already, you know? You cannot change the future. The other week, Dominic Reyes won in UFC Boston. He beat Chris Weidman, who was making his light heavyweight debut. He thinks he should be the next challenger for Johnny Bones Jones, but you feel if you get this W, you are next in line. Man, I'm not rush. Just, if it's my time, I'm ready to beat Jones. If not, I can beat two, three more guys. I don't care, I just wanna fight because I, I, I stopped myself off this injury for eight months, I think. So I wanna fight every month if I can. Is it safe to say you won't be doing the worm in the celebrations if you get the W? Man, it's safe. I can do it now, but you never know what's going to happen with, if you have very excited after winner. So I don't know. I want to do something safe. I hope I can do <laughs> Backflips, jumping on the cage. I don't know, man. I don't know. You will see. We'll see something special in store. When you look at the guys who are at the top of the light heavyweight division, who do you envision yourself clashing with over this upcoming year? Who do you see yourself fighting? Um, man, the tough guy in this division is me. So let's do. I don't care. Whatever he coming for me, I'm ready. No guys that you look at. Do you even look at the rankings? Do you pay attention to them? Any, anyone, I, I want to fight Jones. For me, the belt is just the bonus. I want to fight with the great fight ever. This, for me, it's Jones, so I don't care about the belt. It's just a bonus for me, and I want to fight Jones. What about weight divisions? Will you always be fighting in this light heavyweight division? Do you see, see yourself going up to heavyweight, maybe even going down to middleweight? Is that in the cards for Johnny Walker? Middleweight, I can, man, so, because I have to, I hold myself with a very good diet to keep 108. If I eat a little bit more and do some workouts, I can be like very heavy. So the light heavyweights is the limit for me. And maybe I can go to heavyweights soon. Yes, it's a possibility. Yeah, but I have to take the belt first. Yes. Then I can go to another, take another belt, make a belt collection. We like to hear that. Now talk to me about this shirt. It's a great shirt. The Schmo wanted one. Why don't I have one? Uh, just make for me, but I think he, I have a, lo a lot, but I don't start to sell, but I want to make my br my own brand and I'm going to start to sell my t-shirt as well if people like to train. It's very good to train, very fresh. Do you like? Yeah, it fits you well. Yeah. You should have brought extras to throw out to fans. Yeah, I forgot a big bag in Russia, like a lot of things should bring. I forgot a big bag with a lot of t-shirts, so next time maybe. Next time. The Schmo's extra small, by the way. No problem, mate. <laughs> What's your final message before Saturday evening for the Johnny Walker fans out there worldwide? Guys, I'm here to make the great show for you. 
I don't will disappoint you guys, all right? See you 2nd November, Madison Square. Beautiful scar he's got yeah. there from the shoulder recovery. My, my new tattoo. Yes. He's the pro, I'm the schmo in New York. We're out. Bye.